Budapest airport everywhere they're announcing that uh, they are 10 times the best uh, uh, airport in the region and this region that they're best is Eastern Europe. Okay, okay. Sleeping Beauty arrived in the Hungary Budapest airport arrival few spots where to sleep spend overnight so we have 12 hours plenty of time just do whatever oh lion king woke up he got annoyed of new habitants in our corner small kids Peace and quiet until those kids came. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slept maybe an hour. Like three. And this is our living space now. <laughs> New home. New home. <laughs> Shoes. Yep, yep, yep. The airport itself, it's not quite big. You can walk, I think, pretty much from the entrance to the forest uh, gates, maybe in 10 minutes. Max. Max. And check-in, not check-in, the security, security check took five minutes. up to three minutes for us. Three, five minutes, depending on the time, I think, I guess. And there's not, uh, there are flights, but not so many. So I think that's why it's not so many, like heavily loaded. And the security even smiled. So they are legit. Maybe that's why they're the best. Control. <laughs> yeah, passport control. Yeah, passport control. They had a smile on their face. So that's great. This is also one of the modern things. You can grab a book and read in these comfy chairs. Whoop. Donny, don't pretend you're not the reader type. <laughs> it's in Hungarian, unfortunately, so I can't read it. Can you find anything in English? That's a nice idea, though. Uh, no, nah. not really. Uh, Moments of glory. Well, you can at least enjoy pictures. And if you get sad, sometimes you have free concerts here in Budapest airport. Donny will demonstrate what he learned when he was a kid. also like a lounge area uh, you can sleep you can stay usually there's quite some people uh, and uh, if to sleep I'm not sure if it's the best option but it's very comfy isn't it it's comfy to sleep actually yeah. mm -hmm. Especially on the this is good for sleeping as well as an option one more place to sleep chairs like that what we also saw is that uh, there are lounges airport ones and the ones you can pay for like 30 euros yeah so well, some of those uh, it's a bit, if you fly with a certain airlines uh, and uh, and you can't get if you're not flying with the, like with zero Ryanair but another one you can just pay the fee I think 30 euros and you can enjoy free coffee snacks uh, tea etc we guess we are not quite sure but it looks like that that's what a lounge is and uh, we didn't yeah. want to invest we didn't want to pay 30 euros there is a, a cafe fray uh, in the their national at the their international gate uh, so it's really looks really nice and uh, we saw the meal deal actually it's around uh, 10 euros 12 could be 12 euros but yeah overall it's really nice general atmosphere in here there are a couple of coffees in here so, coffee in here americano four euros okay so water uh, cost 850 so it's around uh, two, two euros one bottle half a liter pepsi a thousand Currency, so it's around uh, three euros. Any snack? Um, sandwich? Sandwich is around three euros. Okay, this one is 
five, only five euros. So, and the coffee then as well, uh, it's around three euros. So better actually the tip for the coffee, we will show you the machine where you can take it for uh, two euros. Okay, so if you don't have uh, empty water bottle yourself to fill it up, that's the option, cheapest option in the airport. It's 130 for the half liter of water. So the machines and the same cheapest coffee in here, it's under around two euros. All the coffees in here, you can find the latte macchiato and so on, different kind of coffees, and it works contactless, so it's great. You save three, three, two euros or something like that. What I love is that everywhere there's changing rooms. Oh, by the way, I saw a microwave in the restaurant area, but we cannot access it uh, now. Uh, there are lots of. Uh, Lots of places where to eat and also terrace for smoking is open air so you are not dying if you're actually smoking and uh, right this is one of the things that we love in airports is uh, fillable drinking water uh, we take our own bottles and we don't need to spend this crazy amount on water so this is sandwich hot sandwich for free instead of uh, five euros, very good. Very good. Microwave from uh, baby changing room, perfect. You need a you need back like this, and, and here you see cheese. Yeah, that's the cheese, bacon, and uh, and tortilla. That's it. Perfecto. Oh, and yeah. I, I also see that there is observation terrace, but I'm too lazy now to go. Anyways, uh, if you smoke, not a problem in Hungary. If that would be booking.com, that would be marked as area find in Budapest airport. It's called silence booth. And uh, you can make yourself a little uh, office here. You have right. socket, you have USB, you have network cable connection. How, how useful are these network cables? It's uh, useful for stable internet connection. And you have view of Shanghai you Airlines. You have view of Shanghai Airlines. You cannot smoke, not a problem anymore. And little this one, so we'll see how uh, well I can nap in my office. But yeah, this is a rare find and we need to make the best of it, you know. It's it's a smaller version. There are bigger, more executive ones, but they were occupied. Are you filming still? Yeah, so they were they were occupied. So it's still good to find at least a small one. We are happy. It's mm -hmm. gonna be off for the problem. Day. One problem. One problem. One risk I notice. If you fart, <laughs> it's gonna be bad. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep doors open. It's not gonna be so silent, but at least it can be. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the problem I have in Budapest airport is that I connected my phone and my laptop um, to their internet uh, then I went to sleep um, and now uh, when I try to connect there is no Wi-Fi anymore uh, and only now I noticed that they give free internet access only for four hours so um, right <laughs> it's pretty uh, it's pretty sad, uh, however, good news is that um, there's only two hours left until our flight. Uh, in Budapest airport, there's lots of uh, places where you can charge anything. Uh, it goes start standard European style and USB also for wires. Uh, what is good is that they're actually working <laughs> when in other airports there are many places but uh, where to charge but it's not working so here it is working okay so there is a for kids playground so it's nice so people can leave the kids Kid, kids can be busy it's very nice there is for the kids trolley so to make it easier and many points of those for the parents with the kids so it's convenient Okay, so what is interesting in Budapest airport is that it's written in Hungarian, English and Chinese. I think it is Chinese and it's pretty much on um, 
every board that has important uh, information. Um, at the same time, I see quite some airlines like Shanghai Airlines, Southeast Asia Airlines. This is partially cargo um, airplane. And I was in uh, Budapest airport like five years ago, maybe, maybe six. There wasn't the Chinese thing that I would recall. Mm, so uh, this is interesting. What's up with Hungary and China? Right. There is actually good that there is a disinfection liquid and the toilets are quite clean at once. So you doesn't put the toilet before you use, so it's quite a nice feature. And the toilets overall, that's the chance, they are good. Clean. Yeah, I think they, they, they are clean almost quite a few times while we are here. Hungarians uh, speak English with no problem and uh, to get out of the airport um, I know that buses are actually going even uh, uh, in the night uh, Airport works 24-7 So uh, you just need Budapest Go, I think it's the app um, To download it and you can buy tickets even online That's what I was informed by my friend